Hey guys, welcome back to Econ Class. Today we're gonna to be looking at changes in equilibrium. We're gonna be looking at how shifts in supply and demand can impact the equilibrium price and quantity. So today objectives, uh, identify how changes in supply and or demand impact market price and quantity, illustrate the changes in equilibrium on a supply and demand model, and then differentiate between the impact of a single and double shift of the demand and supply curve. Now the first single shift that we're gonna look at is an increase in demand. And this means our demand curve is gonna to shift to the right. Because of that right shifting demand curve, we are gonna establish a new equilibrium. All right, that means the price is gonna go up, and our quantity is gonna go up as well. So due to an increase in demand, equilibrium price and quantity increase. Now, it doesn't mean that everything is gonna instantaneously happen. Increases in demand, changes in supply and demand happen all the time, but it takes a little time for the market to adjust. So let's imagine this again, demand shifts to the right, but let's say retailers, pr producers, they don't increase their price quite yet. So we're still sitting at P1. That means that in this particular situation, we have a quantity demanded that is greater than quantity supplied at the old price. So what'll happen is that there's gonna be this pressure to increase the price up to a higher level. And we end up establishing at P2. What this does is it decreases the quantity demanded, that higher price causes consumers to buy a little bit less, and it causes producers to want to produce a little bit more. And we establish that new equilibrium at P2. Now an increase in supply is gonna shift our supply curve to the right. This increase in supply means that more is gonna be produced at every price level, and we are gonna establish a new equilibrium, dropping price down and increasing quantity. Now, just like with the demand increase, an increase in supply can initially cause a surplus. All right, so we see our right-shifting supply curve, and if we keep price exactly where it is, suppliers are gonna to wanna to supply more than the market needs, and consumers are not gonna to wanna to buy as much at that existing price. So in this case, we end up with a quantity demanded that is lower than quantity supplied, causing a surplus, and there's pressure to decrease the price down to a lower level because producers wanna get rid of their extra product um, and we want some incentive for consumers to buy it. So what happens here is as that price drops, quantity demanded increases, quantity supply decreases, and we get back to our new equilibrium at P2 and Q2. Now with the demand decrease, we're gonna see the demand curve shift to the left. Less consumers are willing to buy the product at every price level. This is gonna cause our price to go down and our quantity to go down as well. Now with a supply decrease, that means less producers are willing to offer the product at every price level in the market and it causes the supply curve to shift to the left. This is gonna result in a higher price and a lower quantity in the market. All right, so now onto the double shifts. Now double shifts, are, the only thing that's really different here is that we are going to know what happens to one variable, price or quantity, and we're not gonna know what happens to the other one. And I'll explain that on the second part of this. So we're gonna see an increase in demand here and an increase in supply as well. Now due to this, we are going to have a new equilibrium. Our equilibrium is gonna be at a higher quantity, Q2, but price in this particular example looks like it stayed exactly the same. Quantity definitely went up here. Now price is gonna be what we call indeterminate, ambiguous, unknown, however you wanna put it. Whenever we have a double shift, we know what happens to one variable, but not the other. Now why does this happen? All right, so let's look at all the possible outcomes of an increase in demand and an increase in supply. First, like we saw in the previous model, we have an equal shift of demand and supply, resulting in a higher quantity, but keeping it at the same price. Now, we really don't know how intense these shifts are. All that we know is that demand went up and supply went up. So in this particular example, because I shifted them exactly the same amount, price looks like it stayed the same. But this example, D3 and S3 shifting, demand just a little bit to the right, supply a lot to the right, and we end up at P3, Q3. Now, quantity did increase in this example, but price went down. Now let's look at this next example. Once again, it's an increase in demand and increase in supply. We end up at P4, a higher price this time. And this is because supply only went up a little bit and demand shifted way to the right. So a whole lot more consumers wanna buy this product, but only a few extra producers are producing it at every price level. So then price has to go up. So in each one of these examples, we see price decrease, price increase, price stay the same. However, quantity in every example went up. So we know with 100% certainty that quantity is gonna increase, 
but price is going to be indeterminate. Unless they give you specifics on how much each curve is shifting, we don't know one of the two variables. All right, let's take a look at demand increase, supply decrease. We're going to see demand shift to the right here, supply shift to the left. Remember, we're going to know what happens to price or quantity. We're not going to know what happens to, to both with 100% certainty. So in this particular example, we see price has increased. Quantity appears to have stayed the same, but we know that this is just an indeterminate. So price has gone up. Quantity is going to be unknown in this particular example. Now, if demand goes down, we're going to see a left shifting demand curve and supply going down. We're going to see a left shifting supply curve. And once again, we have a new equilibrium. In this particular situation, we know what happens to quantity, but not what happens to price. So if they shift in the same direction, we know what happens to quantity, but price is going to be indeterminate. If they shift in opposite directions, supply increasing, demand decreasing, then we know what happens to price and not quantity. Okay, last model. Demand down, supply up. Left shifting demand curve, right shifting supply curve. We have our new equilibrium established. In this particular example, we know what happens to price. It's going to go down and quantity is going to be indeterminate. Now just keep in mind, for single and double shifts, there's only four possible combinations. There's four single shifts, four double shifts. There isn't a whole lot to this. It's more important that you remember what determinants will shift each of the curves and then just respond to that in the question. All right, I've provided a few practice worksheets that you can find a link to in the description below. There's one sheet of single shifts and identifying what happens to price and quantity, and then two sheets of double shifts to give you a little bit of extra practice. All right, guys, make sure you're checking out the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.